Okay. My name is uh, Edward LaSalle, Jr. Uh, I am president and primary owner now of Pelican Aviation, located in New Iberia, Louisiana. My father, Ed LaSalle, Sr., uh, having been trained as a military pilot in World War II, came back home to New Iberia, Louisiana, which is where he was born and raised and needed some some method to provide for uh, his new bride, my mom, and shortly thereafter, me, who came along at about that same point in time, right after World War II. Going into the infant stages of the, of the oil industry, in the inland waters anyway, of Louisiana, uh, my dad founded on the on the banks of the Bayou Teche in downtown New Iberia uh, a seaplane operation, and the object there was to mount aircraft on floats and operate these airplanes from this base on on Bayou Teche, and its mission was to provide a base of operations, repair aircraft that were performing the same mission and function in the inland waters of Louisiana and also fly his own aircraft, his own float planes uh, in, in air taxi. He'd fly his airplanes, of course, for hire to various rigs that were located in South Louisiana on the waterways. More often than not, bringing uh, parts or personnel back and forth to rigs in, uh, in the inland waters of South Louisiana. And that began in the early 50s and continued on until a point in time approximately in the mid to late 80s when that industry, primarily I think because of the, the advent of the, uh, the more common use of helicopters and the fact that the drilling operations at that time in the 70s and 80s began to move out into deep waters offshore into the Gulf of Mexico. And at that point in time, the float planes were no longer needed or even could be used, actually, because the float planes that, that were in use in South Louisiana, incidentally, by the, by the dozens upon dozens back in the 60s and 70s, uh, could not function, could not operate out into the deeper waters of the Gulf of Mexico, and uh, at that point they, they became useless.